Hello and welcome to another of my tutorials. I want to say a huge thank you to all of you for your support through the year. For today I prepared video with wooden chopping board and clay. First I need to paint my board with white primer. If you are using sponges as I do, one coat should be just right. Now I apply one generous coat of decoupage glue as I want to glue my napkin with iron and baking paper. Remember to dry it properly before you start next step. When my glue is dry, I place top layer of my napkin on the board, I cover it with baking paper and I start ironing. You need to set your iron on medium heat and switch steam function off. Take your time and make sure edges are glued properly. When everything cools down, I apply one coat of decoupage glue on top of my napkin to seal it. In this case, less glue is better. You can also use varnish if you want to. Now I can use sandpaper to remove overhanging edges. Then I paint back of my board with white primer using sponge. Next step will be creating roof tiles using extra light air drying clay. I use old plastic chopping board and small rolling pin which I borrowed from my daughter's Play-Doh set. I flatten my clay with rolling pin and I use knife to create roof tiles. I use generous amount of decoupage glue to attach my tiles to the board. I work my way all the way to the top and let it dry for a couple of days. When my roof tiles are dry, I paint them with white primer.
I tried painting my roof with grey paint, adding lots of water, but I didn't like the finish. So I've decided to use darker grey paint and I didn't add any water. As usual, all the supplies used in my videos are linked in the description below. I want edges of roof tiles to be snowy white, so I take very little paint on my sponge, wiping excess on kitchen towel and I apply it on edges. I will add snow paste on top of the paint later on. When my board is dry, I seal everything with couple of coats of triple thick varnish. I apply snow paste on top of roof tiles, window edges and fence boards using both brush and spatula. Make sure to dry your snow overnight before next part. And last but not least is adding sparkle to my project. I apply varnish on top of my snow paste and I sprinkle white glitter on top of still wet varnish. When dry I use soft brush to remove excess glitter and my board is finished. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you all the best for Christmas and New Year.